Whoa, look at all these robots. Wow, we're gonna have an awesome day today because we got a really big cleanup challenge coming right up. But before we begin, we got the Pure Clean Cam versus the iLife A4 Pro versus the Deezer 23T versus the Yeti K600. What are we gonna do? Well, I got something very, very special. Hold on, one second. What is this? Is this what I think it is? Yes, it's five pounds of gummy bears and the mini because why? Well, mini gummy bears are cheaper than bigger gummy bears. Yes, I could afford the big ones, but I got the mini ones. Oh! Hey Nathan, what are you doing? I didn't know you were here. I'm basically you, but better. Well, go away Nathan. I don't want to talk to you. you you're mean. Ugh. Oh my gosh, this is, I'm too weak. I can't get this open. Uh, I need some scissors. Uh, can you help me? Wow, that's magical. I have scissors now. Go! Alright, let's have some cleanup fun. Right off the bat, the Pure Cam 75 versus the iLife 4S Pro start to do head to head, and you can see that the iLife is chasing the Pure Cam. Luckily, the Pure Cam was quick enough to outmaneuver the 4S Pro. So, out of all the four robots, two of them have the Wi Fi capabilities the Pure Cam 75 and the DZ23T. This is DZ's latest model, uh, shown below, and it also has the strongest suction at 2200 pascals. All three robots minus the Pure Cam 75 come with a handheld remote, and one thing to know is you can do scheduling on the dedicated remote control, so it makes it really easy to control these robot vacuums. So the first challenge is the chair leg test, and it looks like the Pure Cam 75 has no problem. It was able to grab two of the four pieces of candy, and it looks like the 23T and the 4S Pro wants some action as well, and it looks like the Yeti 600 is also trying to join in. So, let's see if any of the robots can get that white piece of candy between the chair leg and the wall. And it looks like the 4S Pro is stuck. We'll see if it can get itself unstuck. So, all these robot vacuums are less than $200. And the cheapest ones are $130. And the most expensive ones, I believe, $178. All these robot vacuums do have like some type of coupon. So, I'll put the links in the description down below. Okay, so it looks like the 4S Pro wants to tackle the second challenge. So if you watched my previous videos, I actually used this style of chair legs for my other robot vacuums. And you notice that this guy has no problem going in between the chair legs due to his small diameter. Did you notice the K600 side brushes? Yes, they spun slower than the iLife 4S Pros. And look at that, the Deezer 23T has equally fast spinning side brushes. So I would give credit for both the Pure Cam 75 and the K600 side brushes, they do spin slower so they don't scatter debris as much. Wow, just a few minutes and this floor is almost cleared. So the Pure Cam 75 in the back has a front facing camera, so if you look closely you may notice a single uh, camera lens. Yes, it's used for live streaming, so with this well, vacuum you can actually drive the robot around and act like a security camera. Very nice feature, unfortunately this front facing camera can't detect objects, still relies on its physical bump sensor and infrared sensors. I like the Pure Clean and Deezer's setup where you can tell the robot to return back to stocking station. Whereas the iLife and K600 just uses a single play pause button. So one thing I've never seen on a robot vacuum is a two speed transmission. Notice how quickly it travels on its first speed and if I go into low gear, it actually travels slower. So this is great for concentrated areas if you want the robot to run slower. Okay, let's look underneath the robots. So for safety, all of them have a cliff sensor so they don't fall down the stairs. They use infrared cliff sensors, they work really well. Also, they have a front wheel caster to help provide stability and they also have front charging contacts minus the pure clean which has two things it has that front facing camera and it also has the charging contacts up front so the side brushes do really well sometimes they spin too quickly they also have removable value plates and also adjustable wheels to allow to transition over different types of debris notice that waterproof covering yes that's very nice Let's go ahead and remove the extractor bar coverings and we can check out the different extractor bars. Now notice on the Pure Clean that gray robot on the bottom left actually has a dual extractor bar design. Very similar to the older style Roombas like the 550 series. And you notice how large the extractor bar is compared to like the other models. Despite the Pure Clean being the oldest robot vacuum that dual extractor bar design is very nice. 
very similar to the Roomba series. It's like a clone of the Roomba. Now, if you look at the other extractor bars of the other models, they're very similar. They use a bristle and silicone combo style. So these combo style brushes do great on different types of terrain. Now, check this out. The iLife actually has a customer service number directly on the robot. So, I like the dustbins on all the robot vacuums. They're easy to remove from the rear. And one thing to note is three out of four robot vacuums have fairly large dustbins. They're around 600 milliliters. And you can easily change out the filters. Now, on some of the models, you can't wash out the filters. So, make sure you pay attention on what models can wash the filters and which ones you can't. The dustbin on the Pure Clean is significantly smaller, around 400 milliliters, because it took the similar design of like the Roomba 960 series, where it houses the vacuum mode inside the dustbin. Notice those power contacts and the exhaust vent. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, keep on going. Hopefully I can put my robot well, vacuums back together. Alright, we're almost nearing the end, and it looks like the Pure Clean's already done. This robot actually has a dirt bin full sensor, so when the dustbin is full, it actually will stop and alert you. Now, all the other robot well, vacuums don't have this sensor. I don't know why. Robot vacuum manufacturers remove this type of sensor because I think it's handy for users to know when their dustbin's full. Let's speed up the video a little bit and you notice how random these robot vacuums are. Well, it's great for a smaller area like this because even though they randomly bounce around, they actually can pick up most of the debris. And if you have multiple, you can actually have like a little ant swarm and they actually do a decent job picking up the majority of the debris in a short amount of time, around 8 minutes or so. Okay, without cheating, let me know in the comments what robot what vacuum you think won. Is it the iLife 4S Pro, the K600, or is it the Deezer 23T, or the PureCam 75? Let's talk about each unique feature that the robot vacuum brought to the competition. Now, on the iLife 4S Pro, it has a very large dustbin, around 600 milliliters, similar to the size of the K600. The 4S Pro has a very good customer service. You can see that they put their customer service number directly on the robot. Also on the iLife 4S Pro has a 4.5 out of 5 star Amazon rating. So it is a really good robot vacuum according to other reviewers. Now the K600 has a very unique dual side brush design which spins slow. So it doesn't scatter debris as much. Now for the Deezer 23T, it's probably one of the most featured rich robots. has Wi-Fi capabilities. The 23T is also the most powerful in its price point around 2200 pascals also has a very large dustbin around 600 milliliters. Now the Pure Clean has a small dustbin but also has that wireless video transmission so it acts like a mobile security device also has that unique dual extractor bar design. Alright drum roll please looks like the iLife 4S Pro was the winner then the Pure Clean then followed by the K600 and lastly the 23T. A promise is a promise. Okay, if you stay till the end, here's my 5 pound gummy bear challenge versus 4 robot vacuums. So, right after bat, the pure clean stop because it doesn't like my bathroom rugs. So, that's one thing to remember with this robot is bathroom rugs is not very good with this dual extractor bar design. Kind of got hung up on these types of rugs. So, this challenge is more of a stress test, not an actual real world scenario. And you can see that the robot in the back actually stopped because its dustbin's already full. But kept pushing on. I'll go ahead and speed up the video but it looks like these robot vacuums aren't really designed for this much debris because the dustbins fill up quickly and they cause some issues. But it looks like the Deezer 23T was the one that was able to run the longest around a few minutes but it was just kind of funny to watch these robot vacuums struggle through this challenge. Okay let's see how much dirt and debris that these robot vacuums picked up. You can see that there's still a lot of gummy bears left over. 5 pounds of gummy bears is way too much. The only robot vacuum I can think of that can handle this type of challenge is the Roomba i7 Plus or the S9 Plus. You may see that smile in the background. That's because I noticed that there's a lot of gummy bears in the extractor bar. On the iLife 4S Pro, you can see that there's a bunch of gummy bears sitting underneath the robot. So I thought that was kind of funny. It's kind of like hit gummy bears in this extractor bar area. So if you like this type of video, make sure you smash that like button. It's only just a click away. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Nathan. This is Robot Masters. I do a lot of head-to-head -head challenges with robot vacuums. I do reviews, unboxings. And if you got a robot vacuum you'd like me to review, just go ahead and uh, hook me up. I have my email address down below. And why in the world am I clean by hand? I have Bob Shark 2.0. So let me go ahead and clean up and make sure everything's all tidy before the wife comes home and suspects any wrongdoing. Alright, see you later.